Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, and for that matter, this week, any small business podcast, we're talking all about breathing. Not really, but we're talking about how to survive business, what to do to calmly navigate through everything that we do. So if you're in business, window cleaning or not, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully, you enjoy the show. It's anywhere podcasts are. Uh, you can find it uh, also on YouTube if you decide to play this behind. You don't have to watch it. I have more of a face for radio. But it's there either way, and that's where you can definitely comment. Uh, if it's not your first time here, you've watched or listened to I won't say all, because I don't know how many of you have listened to all of them. But if you listen to a lot of them, but more importantly, shameless plug is coming, you've ordered your supplies through me, well, thank you. It is because of you that I do this show every single week for five plus years. Uh, But if you didn't know, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. I sell window cleaning supplies. It's what we do. We're the largest distributor, there you go, for window cleaning supplies. We have the best products, the best staff, of course, and I want to be your rep. I literally do. That's what I do. My number is 862-312-2026. That is my cell phone, so call me, text me, whatever you want. And, of course, American Window Cleaner Magazine. If you haven't gotten the magazine, yes, There is a magazine. No, it is not this podcast uh, in a magazine. It is amazing writers all across the spectrum of business. Uh, AWCMAG.com forward slash sub. Do me the biggest favor. Go subscribe right now. It's like $69 for a whole year. Not only do you get the magazine to your door every single month, articles, pictures, posters, that type of thing, but you get, of course, the most amazing sticker sheets. Do up your bucket. You've seen them all over. People are posting pictures of their buckets and their gear and all those stickers that you're like, whoa, those are awesome stickers. They come from here. You get a sticker sheet every single month. Every single month it's different. And every single month it's absolutely amazing. Those are my my thoughts, at least. Anyway, okay, so this week we are talking about um, how to survive business. Just in general. I just say breathe. Breathe. This time of year, when I'm recording this show, it is uh, August now, Um, and this time of year is like the slowdown before the last bit of the season. Now, I know some of you are not slowing down. If you're watching on YouTube, comment, uh, just throw it on there if you're slow or not or what you're down. Most of the time, this time of year, you do slow down a little bit. That's like totally, totally normal, right? Right? If you're new in business, you don't really know what normal is yet. So there's a lot of that. But understanding you slow down this time of year is completely normal. That is kind of the dog days of summer. Some years it runs through, but because we had this weird rainy spring, this time will hit a little harder this time of year. For some people, it just rides through all the way through fall. Everybody's different, so there's nothing there. But there's a few things to calmly figure out where we are in the business uh, side of things. Um, And that helps you through your your whole business journey. And this is any kind of business. This is more specifically timing and how busy we are and things like that. That is window cleaning right now. But business has the same concepts no matter what you do. You may do HVAC. You may do window cleaning. You may do pressure washing. You could do dog poop collection. It doesn't matter, but understand this And this as the main point. But business, just like life, has seasons. Now, it's kind of ironic, of course, that if you're a window cleaning business, there really are seasons, right? But just like in life, and let's get all, you know, let's get deep for a second, man. But life in general has seasons, I talk to hundreds of people a day, literally, literally, right? 
And I know this. I know this for a fact because it's in my own life. It's in people I know. And it's in, of course, every one of you. But there are seasons in life. Let me explain. Summer is good, right? You can go out, you do things, maybe you're on the lake, maybe you're on a boat, maybe you're doing cookouts, maybe you're doing all of that, but sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's humid, right? Sometimes you need to get in the air conditioning, right? But with summer and winter, which is the opposite, right? Winter, maybe there's nothing to do. You're hiding, right? You're like, man, I can't wait till it warms up. Can't wait till it warms up. There's always a spring and a fall. But you have to have a crappy season to understand a good one. If you've ever talked to somebody who moved to Hawaii, we'll say, about six months in, maybe a year in, everybody's like, oh man, how do you like it? You got a lot, oh man. So they go, you know what? I miss the seasons. And you're like, oh, you are a crackhead. There's no way if I lived in Hawaii that I'd be like, oh man, I wish there was snow right? But the truth of the matter is, is that if everything is always good, everything is always perfect, which is what everybody says they want. But if everything is perfect, everything is good, everything is every day the same exact thing, then you don't know that it's good. The idea of it is, is that if something is always good, it becomes the norm. And as soon as something becomes the norm, it's just the norm. It's expected, right? It's like the free shipping we do over 49. If we started doing shipping, charging shipping, all of a sudden people would be like, oh man, it was free. But having free shipping over $49 is not a selling point for us. It's not because free shipping, it goes, you go blank. It's like that for so long that it's just like, you know, just another thing. If we changed it to 99 cent shipping, people would be like, whoa, right? It breaks the norm. So seasons in life, just like in business, you have to have crappy times to understand the good times. If you always, 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 always have good times, first off, you're not in business. I don't know how you're doing it. I've never, ever, ever had like all year, every single day has been perfect. Just doesn't happen, right? We earn it. We earn it. So understand in business, there's seasons. You have to have the good. You have to have the bad, but you have seasons. You may be in a winter right now. Yeah, I know it's August, but you may in your business or life, heck, you may be in a winter right now, right? Crap just might be happening. And you're like, dude, I cannot catch a break. You know, bad things come in threes. You've heard all these sayings, right? When it rains, it pours. Just one thing after another, after another, after another. Guess what? You're just in a winter season. This too shall pass. You've heard that? That just explains that like anything, there's going to be an up. Just like stock market, if there's a down, there's an up. If there's an up, there's going to be a down. Inevitably, you cannot always be up. It just can't happen. So understanding you're in seasons, understanding your life has seasons, understanding your business has seasons, gives you an understanding of the long term. There's a really interesting uh, saying that uh, I really do like that. Um, I see the light at the end of the tunnel and I hope it's not a train, right? <laughs> I can see out of this season. I could see out of this season. But I hope I really am seeing out of the season. It's just not something else, right? So there's a really interesting thing in seasons. And why I say this is because when people get overwhelmed in business, in anything, right? They're slow. I got nothing. Nothing's coming in. It's just, it's not a good time. Uh, Everything is breaking. It's just this or that, or it's this or that. People can get overwhelmed. They can get overwhelmed and go, you know what? I just, man, I just don't see an end out of this, right? And I'm not going to get super deep, but you know, that can go into just mental health in general. If you can't see a way out of your current situation, That's when people are trapped. There always will be an out. There will always be a positive. There will always be a sunny day to your cloudy day. That's how business is. But we have to see that, right? In business, you have to, have to 
prep for the slow time. In order to survive business, this is anything, you have a season. A lot of times, people in companies are not like, it's just good all the time, it's great, right? What do you do in January 13th if you're a window cleaning company, right? Maybe January 13th is your busy time if you're in like, you know, Arizona, New Mexico, that type of place, right? But there's times, maybe it's in the middle of the year, maybe you're in Haboob season right now. Maybe you're in the Midwest and things slow down. Maybe you're down south where you're waiting for everybody to come back for their snowbirds, right? You have to prepare for the slow time. Even if your slow time is not what it used to be, you have a slow time. The number one issue that I see with companies, the number one issue, I've heard it a hundred times, is that I'm worried for XYZ months because I don't know what's going to happen. Like we slow down. I don't know how to make like, what are we? Ah, man, ah, it's just a what? 11 months of the year you worry about one month, right? Maybe you're, you're off season's three months. So nine months of the year you worry about three months. That's not healthy. That's not how we run businesses. And that's how you get premature aging. <laughs> that's why we all look super, super old, right? Uh, these are hair plugs, by the way. Uh, I lost my hair years ago, you know, running business for so long. Uh, no, but now I just started a, a new rumor, like everybody calling me Jerry. But I digress. But you got to prepare for the slow time. The number one thing is if you have a problem, answer the problem. That's it. If you worry about taxes all year, hire an accountant they take care of it. It's no longer a worry. If you say, hey, man, I got two months that I'm just worried about. January, February, we'll say. I got two months worried about it. I'm worried about it. I'm worried about it. I'm worried about it. Every single month you worry about it, even in the good months, you're looking, unfortunately, towards your bad seasons all you're doing is just taking a problem and creating that problem, stretching that problem out for a really long time. Fix the problem. A problem is a question. A question has an answer. Once a question is answered, it's no longer a question. What's two plus two? Oh my gosh, I'm racking my brain. I'm racking my brain. It's four. Oh. It's not a question anymore. I know the answer, right? A problem is a question. So if your problem is, man, I don't know what I'm going to do in January and February. Okay, do this. Take all of that, all of your bills, everything that's owed in those two months, how much is it? Oh man, it's like 10 grand. It's like 10, I'm, I'm going to spend 10 grand for those two months just to like, just to exist. 10 grand, all my bills, 10 grand. Cool. There's your answer. What do you mean 10 grand? All you need to do is now work to saving an ice 10 grand in case of emergency. 10 grand. Put 10 grand aside. If you're in business, you need to have an ice account. You need to have an ice account because maybe you have an operating account. I get that, all that type of stuff. That is always going to be an operating account. But you need to have an ice account, right? So take that problem, turn it into a question, right? How am I going to come up with 10 grand? That's your worry. Here's 10 grand. It's in your account. You've saved up. It took you 12 months to do it. But you saved 10 grand. It's in an account. It's called ICE. You don't touch it. Don't open it. Don't do anything. Well, guess what? There is now no problem. There's no question. There's no what are we going to do in those months because it's answered. You just answered it. You're preparing for the slow time. If your employees don't have work in the slow time, maybe that's your question. Prepare that. What are you going to do in the slow time? What are you going to do to fix that problem, that question, that whatever? Breathe. A problem is a question. A question has an answer. If you can answer your question, you don't have a problem. Figure out what your biggest ailments of the year is. Fix it. Man, August, I slow down. I slow down in August. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, pick up some more commercial. What do you mean? 
Well, commercial, you get to schedule the six months. Do it in August. That's your slowest month. Pick your second slowest month. That's about six months later and do it then. Now, all of a sudden, you got an August and a January, both filled. You got something in there. Well, I know I got this thing. Well, take another commercial. Load it up. Load it up. Load it up. Take a question. That's a problem. And get an answer. Right? Another way to breathe through business, another way to understand we're all under pressure, but just lighten the pressure a little bit. We're never going to get rid of it. Just never, right? You get just different questions or different problems the, the farther along you get or the more into business, right? If you only have one employee, a problem is what if that employee calls out sick? If you have 50 employees, it's not what if that employee calls out sick. It's how many employees are calling out sick that day, right? But another thing is to talk to someone. This is the hardest one. This is why I talk to so many people, right? This is why I do coaching slots and everything else. But the reason is, is that if you want to talk to somebody, you can't talk to a spouse, you can for a couple times and they glaze over and then like, oh, okay. If you're in the business with the spouse, you don't want to go home and then talk about the business that you're in with the, and then you have 24 hours with your spouse all the time. It's like, it gets to be too much. Talk about something else, right? You need to talk to somebody that A, understands, but B, that you can bounce ideas off of, you can unload thoughts, you can just say things out loud. How many times have you done that? Like, oh man, blah, blah, blah. You say it out loud. You're like, I think it just answered my own question. You just said it out loud. Talking to someone is so valuable in business and in life. In life. That's why there are life coaches. That's why there are people who will sit down with you. That's why therapy exists, right? Business therapy is coaching. Is, is just having somebody to talk to, right? Even if you're out there on Facebook groups and things like that, talk to someone about the stuff. Now, if you're ever on a Facebook group like Pro Window Cleaning, you notice that people get burned, right? Somebody will say something and then everybody jumps in. Like, oh, you're so stupid. And then people go, well, I don't want to talk. because It's not that they're talking. It's how they ask. If you walk into a group of 20,000 professionals that have all started and run businesses, figuring things out and making it work, and you go, hey, I'm new to business. I need to know everything. Tell me what I should do. People do that all the time. They call and they go, uh, what equipment should I get? For what? Everything. No, I'm not going to play that game because there's not an answer. I'm not going to feed you everything. Go do some research, right? But if you come to me and you go, hey, what's your favorite scrubber? Cool, Ninja, that's my favorite sleeve. By the way, if you're still here right now and you want to confuse a bunch of people, in the comments on YouTube, even if you're listening, go in the YouTube, search this episode, right? It's a WCR Nation. It's going to be called like Breathe, How to Survive Business, something like that. Just type in the comments one word. What's your favorite scrubber sleeve? Just one word. Because now everybody who didn't make it this far is going to be like, what? Ninja? What? Microtiger? What are they talking about? It's going to confuse a bunch of people. Anyway, I'm just going to start doing this every week. Right? But if you want to come in and just say, uh, hey, I'm new to business. Uh, what should I do? People will burn you because they go, you know what? I spent years getting to where I am, learning the lessons, searching the answers to the questions I have. Right? Problems are questions. And then you come in here and just want everything for free. You just want me to tell you everything? No. That's not how it works. You're not getting handed this. Your business will fail if you're getting handed this. If you do the research, if you are the one that goes out there and gets this stuff, you're going to succeed. That's why people get burned. But just talking to people, if you make sense and you don't expect everything to be given to you and you ask a question, you want to talk, it is so healthy just to talk. Talking to people who know exactly what you're doing. Bouncing ideas off. How many times have you been like, oh man, I got this this quote I'm doing and I just don't know, man. I don't. Ask somebody. Ask somebody who knows what they're doing. Right? If it's a question, 
you have a problem. You have a problem. Your problem is a question. You ask, ask somebody that question. They answer it. Now you have an answer to your question, an answer to your problem. You don't have a problem. Breathe. Breathe. Talk to somebody. It's so valuable. I'm telling you now, I know this is not more than likely I don't have uh, any slots open for for this, but this isn't the point of it. But um, I have done uh, coaching on top of just talking to people. That's what I do all day, right? I talk to people. But I've done it for six, five, six years. 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 And I'm telling you, it is all, uh, for the most part, a lot of the same uh, help that people just need to talk to somebody. It's just so, so beneficial, right? If you don't have a, um, if you don't have a therapist or somebody to talk to or a spouse that really wants to listen or something, find somebody, find somebody just to talk to. Even if it's a buddy in business, start a Voxer group with somebody. It's so beneficial. Anyway, okay, digress. Talk to somebody. Uh, another thing that you can do to kind of breathe, right, and survive business is to all, ABH, always be hiring. We talk about this all the time, but the number one headache for every single company forever, I've been in business 20 years, I've been in business two years, is hiring. If you're not hiring and you're a sole operator, awesome. Listen to what everybody's got to put up with. Hiring is hard. Hiring is always hard because guess what? You cannot hire, start, train, and have an amazing employee in 30 seconds. Can't happen. It's a process. But guess what? Any one of your employees, your employee was there for, they've been working with you for 10 years. Man, awesome. Guess what? Then come to you and go, hey, just want to let you know that uh, I, uh, I got to quit, man. I'm sorry. Uh, we're moving. I'm sorry. I got this going on. I found another job. Somebody blah, 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 blah. And you're like, oh, man, I can't believe it. Like, out of nowhere, I, can't, I just can't believe this. Yeah. Oh, man, you're putting your two weeks notice in? No, I can't even put my two weeks notice in, man. I got to be done today. I've had that happen multiple times on people that I thought were just permanent. Like, dude, it's awesome. Sorry, man. I fell into this thing and my wife's uh, father-in-law does this thing and I got this job making three times what I make here, man. I just, woo, does that hit you? Now, in 30 seconds, you lost somebody. In three weeks, you may have a new person. So what happens is people are always worried because they get somebody or they hire somebody Cool, hiring process done, shut it down, I got who I need. Two weeks later, they're like, crap, I don't have who I need, and then I got to start everything over again. Always be hiring. Now, this is an interesting concept, but it's always getting applications in. It's always talking to people. It always allows you to get the better cream of the crop, good people, people in, need it when you have it, have it when you need it, to always have a influx is awesome because as you grow you're going to be hiring people as you grow you can see people who are coming in still do some interviews and say hey uh you know uh, this process is going to take a little bit but i'd love to talk to you let's do a phone interview right let's get things pre pre-screened everything all of a sudden one day you find somebody comes in like, hey i just moved uh i worked with a company out in uh new york and i, I was a window cleaner for 13 years with them it was awesome uh, they were a great company, but my wife had to move jobs, so I'm moving and I'm looking for something to uh, look, uh, you know, go with, and I'm looking for kind of a forever home for window cleaning. Whoa, okay, I can't believe I stumbled upon this. Like, let's see what we can do to make it work, right? Out of every 11 people, one of them is a long-term good employee. And I always say this, and people are like, well, that's super weird. Isn't it 1 of 10? It's not. It's not for me. It was always 1 in 11. 1 in 11. 1 in 11. So I got 10 bad ones to one good one. That's how that works. 
For me, that's just how it always was. I had, out of that 10, some good ones that would work for a few months and then just realize it just wasn't it. So you always have to be hiring. To be able to lose someone, start the whole process up and get going, right? It takes a whole bunch of time, so why not keep the process going the entire time? Just keep it going. Keep that influx. Keep getting fresh because then if you need, you have, right? If you're looking for that extra, you have. Your problem is hiring. Problem is a question. What do I do? How do I hire people? The answer is to just always be hiring. Always have an influx. I got tons of great people in the wing that anytime I need them, I'm going to start calling them and say, hey, man, you guys still need a job. You were, Remember we talked about this? Yeah, I picked up another job, but I'm not real happy. Awesome. I'd love to give you a shot. Always be hiring. Always. And another thing is to build up your passive marketing. Right? We're talking about breathing. We're talking about surviving business. If you build up your passive, you're not as worried to get out there. Get it? I got to get it. I'm so... Duh. If you're thirsty, all you can think about is water. How to get it, where to find it, what to do to get it. Right? But if you always have a little bit of water, if it's always raining a little bit, then you know all it has to do is just some more rain, a little more rain. I got to still find the big stuff, but it comes in. And that's a big part of it. A big part of it is building up passive. Now, passive for me, there's lots of different things. Lots of things. Passive is going to be like the dentist clothes. I know I talk about it all the time, so I'm not going to go too crazy into it. But dentist clothes, you never leave the dentist without your next appointment scheduled. Think of that. But for me, it's that SEO. I will always, always focus on SEO hard. 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 For me, I got a guy, right? I hire Monk SEO. That's that's who has always done my, my SEO up to this point. Monk SEO... I can literally have them do things and continue to keep me at the top so that anytime somebody searches me, they find it, I'm at the top of the page, they call me passive. I don't have to do anything. They're finding me. Nice job, right? If you're not doing nice job, do it. Those guys over there, the program that they have, by the way, nice job, if you didn't know, is a review thing. So you got 12 reviews right now. You'll get to 100 reviews in like three months it's so absolutely amazing to have those high reviews to have your seo be on point loads better than anybody else out there that's passive passive i want to be the number one guy on google listen this is the absolute truth i remember this is before out of the 10 slots that were unadvertised not not paid ads these are just organic out of the 10 slots that were on the first page, I was in eight of them. Eight of them. That was checked in cognito mode. That was the things that I had done. I had awesome ratings through Service Magic, uh, Home Advisor, that type of thing. They popped up. Thumbtack, I was on that one, right? Anytime somebody clicked, one, uh, eight of 10 were me. My company ranked one on Google. My uh, services ranked. My everything ranked. That's mind-blowing. That means that if you search window cleaning your city, you could click any of the eight of those ten links that pop up on the first page of Google is you. Who's not hiring you? If you're not running SEO numbers like that, by the way, Side note, uh, you guys know I push Monk all the time because he's a good friend and he does absolutely amazing work. Look up uh, Monk SEO and uh, start with them. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Anyway, if you're not there, if you have 12 reviews but the other guy's got 30, they're going to hire the other guy over you, right? If you have all that on point, you are maybe using, say, Nice Job, or you're using one of these other services to collect. There was another one that I just found. Um, I haven't heard as good of things. Actually, I think I know somebody who switched out. Anyway, if you're using these, and all of a sudden they look, everybody who sees on the first page, everybody who searches Google, everybody on anything sees, 
You're like, oh, this is who I'm using. This is who I'm using. Your passive is on point. 50% of the new work coming in should always be passive. Always be passive, if not more than 50%. Reviews, passive. That means somebody else contacted somebody to talk to them. Passive. It's absolutely well worth having the passive income just creating all that, right? So if you're going to breathe, survive business. Try to do all those things. Understand the season. Talk to somebody. Prep for the slow time. If you got a question, which is a problem, get an answer. Always be hiring and, of course, build that passive up. I cannot say enough good things. I just can't, right? But you're going to survive. This is a slow season maybe for you. Maybe it's a busy season. It doesn't matter. The next season will come. It just depends on which season it is. So breathe. You're doing absolutely amazing. Uh, What you're doing is uh, changing the lives of people, literally. So keep doing what you're doing. I would love to be a rep, by the way. If you didn't know, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. Supplies. Put it all in your cart. Shoot me a text and be like, yo, Jersey. My card is loaded. Send it in. And I can place the order for you. I want to be your rep. That's what I do, putting orders. And it doesn't cost you anything extra. Not one penny more to have me do it. But I get credit for the sale, and that's how I exist in this world. Uh, Another way is uh, people who get subscriptions to AWC. AWC Magazine. This is... Another thing, I uh, bought AWC Magazine to be able to uh, offer another form of learning, another form of immersion, just another form of awesomeness. Uh, It's turned out really, really good. I'm really proud of it. I think you guys really like it. I know it's a paper magazine. I know people go, paper is dead, but we have uh, more than doubled. Uh, Well, well more than doubled subscribers. Um, I know there's still a lot of you who are not subscribed to the magazine, so do that. Go to awcmag.com forward slash sub. Get a subscription. It really means the world to me. Um, You guys know I tote this stuff all the time, but it really, really does, and I think you're going to get a ton out of it. So if not for me, do it for you and get some rad stickers either way. But until next week, go out there and breathe, but more importantly, go out there and be epic.